Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in Pigments is called Angelic Voices. This is a pad, and don't be fooled because generally angelic stuff sounds uplifting and hopeful. This one sounds the exact opposite, not hopeful and actually very sad. So uh, with that being said, make sure to grab some tissues, some sad tissues, not happy tissues. Anyway, here is the pad. <laughs> Alright, get yourself together, pull yourself back up, and let's dive into this patch. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So, let's see what's going on here. So, with this patch here, we are in pigments, and this is going to be using two different engines, both sample engines and granular. So, it's going to be kind of fun here. Let's see, let's turn off utility here. We're going to be using a little utility, so I kind of lied. It's going to be three engines. There's going to be a little bit of that going on here. So, let's turn off our utility, and let's check out the first one here. So this first engine is really going to give that angelic -y voice kind of sound. And this is found in the choir angelic. So you can always click this here and then we can find it in our list as well. So I forget. Oh, there it is. And it's in vocal and then choir angelic. So this is a very cool sample to use for this type of patch here. Now we have the sample start. So this white line right here, it's going to be starting at 0.132 here because in the beginning it's kind of fading in. And if we move it a little bit here, we can already get some of that attack already there and we can kind of use our attack with our envelope so with that being said that's where our attack is going to be it's going to be sent to filter number one which we'll talk about in just a second here and the sample grain volume is all the way at zero so remember this sample grain and this output volume are a little different so the volume here going out to the filter is zero and then the volume here is zero even though they have different kind of values your output for your filter has a little bit more gain throw. So I thought I'd mention that just in case. Now our limit's gonna be 128 for our granular. Make sure to turn this on. Now for some of these values here, the density is gonna be 25.6 Hertz, 0.5 for this here. And the shape here is going to be the triangle. Now for the size, we're on here on time. Now this is going to be 210 milliseconds. So some of the randomized stuff down here is going to be start, 0.1. The pitch is going to be zero, density zero, direction 52 backwards, 48 forwards, which is kind of interesting because 52% of these are going backwards and then 48 are going forwards kind of makes a nice little uh, cluster fun. I guess we'll, we'll say cluster fun, yes. Uh, size, zero, width, 0.5, and then the volume, zero for this randomized here. Now we're going to be using unison, full eight voices on stereo, and then the detune is at 3% here. So with anything with pads, always keep in mind that the main kind of contour of the sound is going to be a slower attack and a slower release. So for this one, the attack is 1.14 seconds, decay 300 milliseconds, sustain 0.808, right? And then release 2.93 seconds. So kind of keep that in mind. And with pads, you kind of just have to play them a lot and kind of just slowly adjust the envelopes pretty much accordingly. But the main thing to take home, long attack, long release, and you pretty much got a pad for the most part, as well as things changing over time. All right, so that's sample engine number one here. So let's turn this off and let's go to sample engine number two and turn that on and see what this sounds like. So this here is going to be some added texture kind of going on. So we're going to be using the Grand Piano C3, which I believe is default once you load up the sample engine. However, this start position is going to be a little bit different at 0 0.016, kind of a little right after the attack there, and then the volume all the way to the top. Now, as I mentioned, these volumes are a little bit different. If we go to number one, we can see that this volume was at zero. However, sample two is going a little bit less, so minus 10.2 dB to the filter, because this is more of a background type of thing. So if we add this in the mix with both of these,
it's kind of there. It's more so just, like I said, a little texture, a little flavor, a little bit of a, of spice to this patch here. So with that being said, this course is going to be up one octave from this one here, which is at the default. Now we're going to be using unison voices at four, the detune 3%, and then the stereo at 50.4, because it's a little bit more in the center here while the angelic voices are spread as far as can be spread eagle, as they say. Now we're gonna have granular on here. This is gonna be a triangle at 0.5, density 11.6, the time 160 milliseconds. Now we're gonna be using a little bit more of this randomization stuff here. So the start is gonna be 0.1, and this is gonna be forwards and backwards. So we click here and it's gonna be both, the random start dispersion. The pitch here is going to be 0.1 and pitch is gonna be up and down. If you're unfamiliar with any of this sample stuff here, go check out the video I did for the sample engine. It is in pigments 3.5, but a lot of the stuff still applies. The, the knobs might be in slightly different spots with a different look to it, but it does the same stuff. The density here is going to be at zero, so don't worry about this. This direction, 50%, 51% backwards, 49 forwards. And then the size here is going to be both for the random size dispersion, and the size is 0 0.260, the width 0 0.5, and this volume is going to be down here. And granular is very interesting because you can get such strange, unique textures with just a hit of a piano key right here. If we turn this off... Let's turn this uh And it's weird because this is just a grand piano, but it almost sounds as an angelic choir just by itself. So yeah, anyway, moving on from there, this is also going into filter number one. So what's happening in filter number one? We're just on the multi-mode. The cutoff is at 20K, so not too much happening at low path 24. And then putting both of these here in the mix. Okay, and then we also have the utility engine. If we turn this guy on here, it's going to be a uh, sine wave. And the course is going to be zero, generally default at minus 12, but zero sounded fine. And it's also going to be direct output. And the volume is at minus 15.6. So jumping into the effects here, let's go over to our effects and see what's kind of happening here. We have three of these main effects here, although keep in mind that this auxiliary reverb is kind of just sitting there. But if we go over to the synth, there's nothing getting sent to it. So don't worry about this one uh, over here in the aux. So FXA, what's happening? So we have a parametric EQ. We're kind of cutting out a little bit here at exactly 346 hertz at minus 2.76 dB. And then kind of pushing that top end over here, clicking on this node, we can see that that is going to be 3,852 hertz, so almost 4K. And we're pushing it at about 5.16 uh, dB. Next, we have this pitch shifting delay. The dry wet's 20%, time 1 over 4, spray 16.6, .6, pitch shift minus 10.08, feedback 0.034, the HP frequency is at 20, low pass uh, 1.5K, stereo detune 7 cents, and then the stereo offset is at zero. After that, it goes into the reverb, which is pretty healthy amount at 50%, because with a lot of these angelic, mystical type of pads, you kind of do want to soak them in reverb. Uh, generally sounds a little bit better. And for our pre-delay is 43 milliseconds, size 1.67, decay 0 0.460, stereo width 0.5, high pass frequency 200 hertz, low pass 16K, so almost 17K, and then the dampening is at 0.732. <laughs> So yeah, that is this uh, this patch in a nutshell. Not too difficult to uh, to create. It's actually quite simple. But as long as you have you know some good samples to start with, do some of the granular stuff, get your envelopes right, and some nice effects, and play something kind of sad, boom, you have a sad pad. Huh. Sad pad. How about that? Angelic voices. So if you'd like a free copy of this patch, it's in the video description below. And as I've said before, if you need some help installing it, check out the video I did for the Pigments course. I think it's number two. And we talk about the preset browser and how to load stuff because you can import stuff. Pigments makes it very nice to import not just presets, but also banks of presets and makes it very easy. So with that being said, let's place out with some of these angelic voices. There you go. They, they got ahead of me right there. Angelic voices. Here we go.
right. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.